Hi everybody, it's Lene. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Today I have another sweet little Valentine's project for you. This is a Valentine envelope book. I took four plain envelopes, some pretty paper, and some other items I had around my home and I made this sweet little envelope book for Valentine's Day. I can't wait to show you how to put this together and if you stick around to the end of the video, one of you could win this for your very own. That's right. So I can't wait to give this away. So let's get going and make a Valentine envelope book together. All right, so before we get started, I wanted to show you the envelopes that I'm using. I'm going to be using four envelopes, but you could use three or 10 or however many pages you wanna have. And these envelopes, which I'll link down below, all the items are listed down below the video in the description box. These are seven and a quarter inch by five and a quarter inch. You could make them smaller, you could make them larger, and I'm gonna show you how to adjust the papers for your own envelope. The paper pack I'm using is the Little Things 12 by 12 double-sided paper from Hot Off The Press. And this one for me is just such a sweet Valentine's collection. It just, it's not for Valentine's, but it just, it feels like Valentine's to me with all the pinks and the reds and the teals and the blues and I just love it. So we're going to be using this one. Clear off my desk a little bit. All right, so let me show you how to assemble the basic book and then we're gonna get to covering it. So I'm just starting, as I said, with four envelopes. The first envelope, you're starting off with it open just like this. And then you take the second envelope and it's sort of face down, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and do our gluing as we do this. Put a little bit of glue. You don't need a lot. I'm just using Cosmic Shimmer. And then you're going to put this one inside of this one. And I wonder too, if you could just do it by licking the envelopes to, to put them in there. I've never tried it. So if somebody wants to try that out, I'd be interested to know. All right. You just wanna make sure when you're gluing those in that you're squared up right here. All right. All right, so now we have still have that pocket. Another one here. Okay, this is also going face down. All right, so once you get that in there, then make sure you fold this over and then everything is squared up there. I mean, what I mean by squared up is that the corners are aligned. All right, so we have one, two, three, this last one. Same thing, we're gonna put a little glue on here. And as you can imagine, ooh, just takes very little glue to do this. Just essentially tacking them down. It's all gonna be held together with binding, so it's not gonna fall apart on you. All right. Now, for the last step, I'm gonna take this one and glue it shut. Okay, so let's take that final one that's on the front. And as I said, you don't need a lot of glue. All right, so let's take a look. We'll flip through this. There you go. And then you've got a cute little pocket right here. Another cute little pocket. And a cute little pocket. And then here's one I did that has, I think like, I don't know how many envelopes so many more. <laughs> and then one of the things that you can do maybe every other page when you do a large book, you can actually cut the opening right here on what would be the bottom of the envelope and do that. So you have like a little side pocket to use, which I think is so cute. So let's do that. Let's take this one And you can just do this with some scissors. You can do this with paper trimmer. You're just cutting away just the tiniest amount because we're definitely gonna make a cute little side pocket. All right, so for my papers, I've already cut down a bunch of those. 
All right, and I just cut them down so they would have a little bit of a white edge all the way around. And I cut them to five by seven, all right? Because I want a nice little quarter inch. Well, actually it's about an eighth of an inch all the way around. Ooh, math. So let me show you how I did this. If you're going to be doing this on any size envelope, this is how I do this. I just put my paper right there. So I'm leaving a border, okay, about an eighth of an inch, whatever looks good to you. All right, and then I'm just continuing with that little eighth of an inch over here and a little eighth of an inch at the top. And I'm just gonna grab my paper trimmer, which for some reason I set very far away. All right, and I have that little mark with my pencil there, and then I'm gonna turn it to this one. That's it. That is so easy. And you just wanna do <clears throat> one of those for each one of your pages. All right, so let's talk about the cover first. I kind of have big plans for the cover. We'll see how this goes. So I thought that navy blue would be so cute. But first, I want to put some binding on here. So let's take care of that. Well, not a binding, sorry, a closure. A closure is what I mean. All right, so taking my ribbon, I've got a little fold right here, and I just want to leave enough for a really nice big bow. All right, so that's about 24 inches. Now what we're going to do is just put some glue right across here. We're folding our ribbon in half-ish. Going just like that. Turn that over. like this. All right. So when we're all done, we can tie that and it'll be a really cute closure. Now we're going to take this paper. Are you getting me? And we're going to glue that right over the top of that ribbon to cover that. And I'm going to use a little bit more glue than I usually do on the cover. It's because these envelopes are a little thinner than if you were using cardstock. I don't know if that makes any sense. <laughs> I just feel like I should use more glue. All right. Use a bone folder here and just, you could use a butter knife, anything to kind of make sure your glue is smoothed out. All right, so we're gonna do that on the other side as well. Got another one cut here. Remember this is five by seven. So cute. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is create a little bit of a binding there. So I have cut a little strip of pink and this is two inches wide. And then if you can see here, I scored that right down the center. So it's gonna fold very nicely to a one inch wide by seven. And it's going to go right there. All right. A little bit more glue. I really hope this is like fun and whimsical. I think I think it will be. All right. Now, speaking of fun and whimsical, I got this little pom-pom trim from Amazon and I'm really liking, well, like the white would look great with this, kind of going like that. As you can see, I used a lot of white, 
but I've got this one too. It's a little bit of an aqua color, which I think is really nice. And it reads kind of white in this light. And then I've also got the pink, but I've got a lot of pink going on there. So I think I'm gonna go for this aqua color and I'm just gonna trim it so that it's about the same size. I want it to be a tiny bit larger because of the gluing I'm going to do. I'll put the link for this down here. It's, it was really expensive and actually I used this um, to make the edging on some Mickey uh, Mickey ears, Mickey mini ears on a trip to Disneyland. It worked out really well. All right, so now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna glue this down and then I've got this great red glitter cardstock. That's right, we're going for it. So once I get this glued down, I'm gonna use some hot glue. That's gonna go right there to cover that edge. That's gonna be super sparkly and fun. All right, so I'm just gonna take some hot glue for this trim because we're not messing around. Gonna go right there. And better to do it like that than to try to glue the trim with your fingers. You know, somebody's gonna get burned and it's probably gonna be me. All right, now for this, I'm gonna use paper glue because we can. And that's just gonna glue right over that kind of binding. And the reason I wanted to use the liquid paper glue for this, which I'm kind of regretting now, was because I wanted to be able to move it around if I needed to. But we're just gonna see if it's gonna attach. <laughs> I'm really having second thoughts. Because there's a reason it's called paper glue. Yeah, that's not going to work. Or it might, but it's going to take too long. All right. No, oh, it got me, guys. It's okay, though. I'm unharmed. I see that a lot of glue guns now have settings so you can do high or medium. And that always sounds like a really good idea to me, kind of after the fact, after I've sort of scalded myself with hot glue. All right, so I'm gonna just turn this over and I'm gonna trim this even with the edges. Okay, I'm liking that. It's looking cute and sparkly. All right, so we're gonna work on the cover a little bit more and then we're gonna dive into the pages. So before we do that, I've got these little chipboard hearts, okay? And they're about four inches wide. And I thought how fun to cover one with some paper. So I just glued that here and I've been letting this dry and I'm gonna cut this out. I need my tiny scissors. Here we go. And while I'm cutting this out, I'll tell you guys a story. I recently shot a video. I have been re renovating a space in my house, our house. I don't live here alone. Our house uh, for a craft room. And I've been documenting it to show you guys. And I'm, I'm working in my craft room tonight and I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to show you guys some ideas um, with like found pieces and some recycled furniture and some ideas that work for me in my space. And yeah, so look for that soon. It's going to be kind of a bonus video, probably going to drop on a Thursday soon. All right, so there's our little heart. Okay, and then sometimes I like to sand it, but I wanna keep that edge, the color on the edge. I'm not gonna sand it. I'm just taking my fingernail and kind of going around that, and that's just gonna smooth out any of those cut edges. That's gonna go right there. Before it does, I thought, 
doilies just sort of scream Valentine's Day for me. I love using these. And I thought, how cute to put this on the top of this. So we're gonna try that. I'm gonna start off right here by doing this, just along the shoulders of the heart. And then, so sort of the bottom edge of this doily, and right there. I'm gonna make kind of a little focal area. Ooh, I might have overdone it with the glue. There we go. Okay, a little more trimming. And I thought this would be a really great place to put my little title or my little greeting. Because my navy blue background, pa background paper for this is adorable, but what I have planned may not show up so well. So we're gonna try this. So that's gonna need to dry a little bit. But yeah, it's gonna work. All right, so I'm gonna take a break for a minute and I'll be right back. All right, so our little heart is looking pretty good. I've placed on my heart some of these sweet little Dazzle stickers. These are um, adorable for Valentine's Day. They come in all these colors. I used the black one, of course. You and me, and then I have these little pearls, these flat back pearls, you guys. They come in this great big bag of like, I don't know, just thousand or more in there. And I found that great teal color. So I'm gonna pull that teal color out. I'm gonna kind of put some dots here, sort of evenly space these round. And we're gonna bring that teal color in with that red. I think that's gonna look really sweet. Once I get them on there, I can kind of move them around. All right, that's really cute. And now we've got some foam tape on the back of this. And I'm just gonna mount that right there. And now as I open this up, I'm really hoping my pearls are gonna stay on there. I think they're good. All right, so we're gonna open this up. And you're gonna see I've already glued my five by seven paper here and here and here. All right, now we're gonna deal with the paper that goes on this side of the pocket. So for one of these, I wanna just take a border. So this is, I'm gonna measure this again. This is three inches wide by that same seven inch wide as the other, seven inch long as the other paper. And I'm gonna put that right there so it also has a little bit of a border. And we're gonna keep that little pocket right there just to decorate that one. And then on this one, this is the one that we opened up on the side here. So I'm actually gonna cover this, but I don't want to get any glue right here because then that will prevent that from being an actual working pocket. So to kind of control where I'm putting it, I'm gonna do that and then put my glue here, okay, and here. So I'm not gonna have any glue in that pocket area. And then once I get that down, I'm gonna open this up and make sure. Yep, that's good, we didn't glue that shut. All right, and on this last one, I'm gonna do pink again. Now we can glue this shut, or actually, that doily that was left over from doing the heart, we don't wanna erase that, so I've glued that to this strip of paper, which is also seven inches long and two inches wide. And this one we're just gonna put right there, just to kind of decorate that little pocket edge. that all right we're getting down to the end okay so 
so I also wanted to add just a few little sparklies, maybe some more of these dazzle stickers in red. We also have gold that would look great. Let's try the red. So I wanted to show you how I kind of use these dazzle stickers. I like to take a pokey tool and then just kind of pry these up like this. Mm, which one am I going to use? I think this one. Just this little XOXO down here. Leave this little pocket open. Oh, no, the pocket's right here. All right. And we've also got these adorable little hearts that have gold around them, which are really sweet to kind of add in that little Valentine flavor. Maybe one more here, a little smaller, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna take one more little break and I'm gonna fill this with a few things and then we're gonna come back, come back and take a final flip through. All right, we are back with our finished book. So let's take a little flip through. I'm really happy with how the cover turned out. It's so glittery and fun. And the little closure kind of adds a little excitement when you open it up. The page on the left is a great place to add photos. The pocket on the right, I just made a simple little tag and add some of those little vinyl Valentine stickers. Turn it, another photo. I love you to the moon and back with the vinyl dazzle stickers inside our little secret pocket there's a little Starbucks card there maybe for a little cup of cocoa and then I decided this page was just perfect for a pocket so I cut this down to five inches across and then it's three inches wide actually it's about two and a half inches wide made a little tag to tuck in there and the last part I saved that for a little Hershey bar so you guys, I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial for Valentine's Day envelope book. It's really fun to make. I would love to give this away, you guys. I would love that. I would love to give it away and have you keep it for your very own or maybe even share it with somebody for Valentine's. That would be amazing. So in order to give this away, in order for a chance to win this, you need to like this video, you need to comment, and you need to subscribe. And then you also need to watch next week's video because hidden within the video is going to be the announcement of who wins this little envelope book. I hope that you participate. I would love to give this away. If nobody claims it, it just goes into my drawer and my drawer is getting pretty full with unclaimed prizes, you guys. So make sure you watch the next upcoming video. Thanks so much for joining me today, you guys, and I'll see you next time.